Uh, hello, this is a note on um, uh, a standard problem in marine navigation, uh, how to find the course to steer to compensate uh, for a known current. And uh, I'll solve this uh, with, uh, op I'll, I'll come back later and draw it on a piece of paper. You can do it on a, just a piece of notebook paper. You don't need a chart for this. But I'm using a chart here. I'll use the ENC version of the chart. And then the problem that we're working is from our workbook, uh, this 18465TR, and it's number 9.2. Uh, this book's available as a printed book or as, uh, as you see here, an e-book. Okay, so 9.2, uh, that's this problem here. And then I just made a copy of this that we can read a little bit better. So there's a, there's a, a link, we're, we're going from A to B, I mean from two points from two, two traffic buoys. And then the first part of it is a different. I'm not going to do the first part. The first part is you've you got to look at the chart and look at your current tables and figure out where the closest current station is and uh, at apparently at this time figure out what the current is. So our speed is 4.5 knots. And then if you do, uh, if you solve part one and go look in the current tables, you find the closest station. And then the answer is that the current we'll be confronting is uh, a drift of 2 knot, 2.0 knots in direction 255. And then here, here is the answer. Um, looking ahead, it looks like we want to drive. We want to make good straight north, due north. And uh, it looks like we're going to, and the answer we should find is that we have to steer uh, the current's coming down 255 like that. So we're going to have to steer into the current. So instead of driving due north, we're going to drive 025. We're going to be pointing 25 degrees into the current. It looks like it asks for magnetic. The variation's 20 degrees, so that'll be 05 magnetic. And that the speed made good as we track straight up there should be 3.6 knots. That's the answer. OK, so that's the answer. And then uh, that's the book we got the problem from. And then this video and other videos doing problems from that book are, are online. And uh, I'll put that link there. OK, so here's the chart. And uh, I'm using Open CPN. I'll, I'm going to come back and do this with a, a QTVLM, too, another, another program that uh, you might find useful. Um, uh, so here's we're going from this buoy to this buoy and so with this we drive here and so we just it doesn't matter too much how you do this but we just want to mark in here and you want we're going 4.5 miles and you can always scale this down and draw it at one tenth or one half or something but we've got plenty of room here so let's go let's go clear up uh, we're going 4.5 so let's get this line at least you know up in here somewhere that long something like that and that that is just okay then what do I hit here escape okay escape and then that's the direction we want to go from here to here. Now, the current, and now again, the, the instructions are in our book, but the current is uh, uh, from any point on here, from any point on here, the current's flowing that way, and it's 255. So we just start, again, that's any point up there. And I just took it up above the 4.5, or I don't know if I did, actually, escape. Let me let me do it. Let, I just want to be sure I'm up here far enough ahead. Okay, so now I'm going to come down here and go to the tr currents going in direction 255. So you see that's 255 right there. So I'm going to just stop. Now here's the direction we're going to have to point into the current. So I'm just using this as a as a trick. You know, I'm just using that. I just w I really want this reciprocal here, which is 255 minus uh, 180. That's, what, that's the line I want to draw because that's, we have to go in that way into the current. And that's just a trick of using this tool so I don't have to do the arithmetic. I can just go down here. 255 is what I'm told. Then I just go back and draw the line like that. Now I need to go. Now I need to mark off the current. In, I'm going to be using a regular scale. You know, that's why I got this big enough to do this. I'm going to be using the regular chart scale. So I, I need to go into this current, what was it, 2.0. So I'm just going to mark here and then start here. Say yes, start at that point. And then I go into the current 2.0. Um, 
let's see 2.0 is about right something like right there that's good enough okay escape that's that now okay so then um, you could do this different ways you could go here to this point here and you could go to the properties of that point and with this program in other programs you draw this a different way and I want to put one range mark and I want that to be 4.5 4.5 and say okay right and that's right here so this is the way I'm gonna go I'm gonna start here and go to here and so that's my 4.5 knots into the current now alternatively with this program I could also just start here you know um, you know I'll start here and come okay yes and then come down and then just watch my uh, cursor here do I get you know 4.5 it's going to be that point right like that so escape so I could actually just let me just delete that whoop I don't want that um, let me delete that I'm just showing you some little tricks on the on the program here uh, let me delete that and then yes okay and let me delete that properties um, uh, delete well I'll just delete this whole thing delete delete okay delete yes okay that's good you see so there's a first let me go back now and just I'm just show even a even a faster way to do it so here I just draw a straight line in that direction it doesn't matter where this point where this ends any point on here I'm going down in the direction of the current just randomly someplace here stop and come all the way back out to here as long as that's bigger than the two knots I have to deal with then you can come in here with this tool and you can start here and say yes I want to start exactly at that point then you come up till you get two you know two uh, two knots which is about here right there then just come down here now why with this program I can watch that scale you see and I've got to kiss come down here to this is 4.5 you see and I or let go over here and I just want to come down this line to I'm exactly 4.5 right right uh, 4.5 ah, how close can I get right there stop Bing. that's the answer so there's the vector triangle that I'm sailing so keep in mind this is 4.5 and this is 2 so what's the answer here in one hour in one hour I sail this I point the boat in this direction I'm under power or I'm reaching on the sail I'm somehow able to control which way I go which, is, which under sail is not always possible but we're under power say so I'm going four point in one hour I sail 4.5 miles in this direction right here during that one hour the whole waterway in this whole world has moved two miles back two miles back down this way two knots back down this way so I end up right on the line I want to be headed through north so this is the answer here now in this case this is the answer of which direction I go but it's pointing the wrong way so you just go with this program and others do it different ways I would just go here and maybe reverse that yes now what's that read 025 now we actually 025 is that right? yeah 025 so that's the right answer we found the right answer that way the direction you see I'm reading let's see where see where you read 025 and it's 4.5 it's exactly right now the speed made good how fast I'm actually going to progress that way I'm going to go a little slower uh, and that's going to be this number but I've got vectors all over everywhere there I better just put one in and start here say yes and then come up here and say yes again yes now it's uh, escape now this is the one that I want and you say and that looks to be uh, well three five nine that's close enough this two north and it says three point five nine and uh, that's the answer three point six knots right yeah three point six knots so there's that's one way that's one way to solve this problem is a is a very and I'll, I'll come back and show that in literally a minute in one minute you can solve this on a piece of letter paper with not a single mark on it just with a protractor and a pencil all right that's the end of that example